So God led me in my reading on that particular couple days later to Deuteronomy chapter 8. And Deuteronomy chapter 8, actually, I can tell you was, and I don't say this about everything, but it was very life-changing for me because it taught me, it basically taught me that we have to seek God for God, not for what he can do for us. We have to be very careful about seeking God's hand and not seeking his face. I don't like it. I have grown children, and when they were babies, this was okay. But I would not like it if every time one of my children walked in the house, they came to get something. I want them to come because they love me and to spend time with me because they love me. So I'm going to take the time to go through some of Deuteronomy chapter 8 with you tonight, share a few things with you, and I actually want to teach you tonight about the importance of keeping Jesus first in your life, keeping him first in your life. Now, one of the questions that I get asked probably more than any other question in interviews, which I've done plenty of, is with all you have going on in your life, how do you keep your priorities straight? And you know what I tell them now? I'm always straightening them out. I don't think anybody just one time makes a decision, gets their priorities all lined up, and never have to deal with it again. You know why? There's, you, you can have everything can be perfectly in order in your life, and you can be like, have every priority right in line right now, but there's so many things out in the world to draw us away from the things that are the most important that we have to constantly be, I don't mean constantly, but every once in a while, we have to look at our lives. We have to look at our time. What are we doing with our time? Are we putting time into relationships? Are we living a life now that we're going to be happy with later on? Are we investing our time? Are we wasting our time? And if you don't ever take the time to do that and make the adjustments that you need to, basically what's going to happen is we're going to end up pretty much living a useless life. The devil is very good at drawing people away from the things that should be the most important to them. How many of you realize that like your own personal time with God, that the enemy is very good at finding other things for you to do during that time? 